Recently, I showed you my $20,000 Pokemon investments in the current Pokemon market. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my graded card investments that are worth over $250,000. I've got modern cards, vintage cards, and inside here is my most valuable card where there is only six in the entire world. So let's get into it. So here we go, guys. We've got the first pile to show you, and these are all modern cards. Now, these are cards I've invested in that I'm going to be keeping in my collection and just hoping that they go up in value or see what happens in the future with them. But before I show you the first card, I'm going to be giving away this PSA graded card in today's video, and I'll reveal what it is a little bit later. But all you have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and comment down your favorite card in today's video. So let's get back into it. All right, to start us off, we have a PSA 10 Jolteon VMAX from the special premium collection box. Now, I actually touched upon these boxes in my previous video which i will link in the description it is my twenty thousand dollar investments in the current pokemon market and uh these actually the boxes from these were actually in that video so we have a psa 10 jolteon from that box right there we also have the vaporeon or vaporeon v max as well um i've just picked a few of these out but if you can ideally get all of them in tens i definitely would recommend trying to do so because i have a feeling that these are just going to be kind of sought after cards in uh in the future because they're just so so beautiful okay the next card we got a japanese card right here and it is the full art friends in Sinnoh from V Star Universe. This is in Japanese. Now, the reason I've kept this is because full art trainers always tend to do pretty well. And this has a lot of them in the display and in the, in the picture too. So I have no idea what this would do, but I thought you never know with full art trainers. Um, that could be one that just decides to kind of get more uh, popularity in the future. Up next, we have the first or the only secret rare actually in Crown Zenith, which is the last set of um, the Sword and Shield era. This is a beautiful Pikachu card. And I'll always say Pikachu just tends to be a safe bet when it comes to slabs and stuff like that because everyone loves Pikachu and there are also just loads of really nice Pikachu cards as well. Let's get a little bit more of a zoom in on that. Beautiful, beautiful card right there. And in Japanese, you could only get this in the Precious Collector's Box. So I just think it's a really cool card. I like it in my collection and hopefully it just decides to go up in price. But up next, we have the shiny Rayquaza GX from Hidden Fates. In my opinion, one of the best modern holiday sets there's ever been. I had so much fun opening this up in 2019, which is four years ago, which is crazy. But you actually couldn't pack this card in the set. The only way you could get this was genuinely through opening up. There was two um, types of products. It was the ultra premium box, which is super expensive. And it had a actual figure of a shiny Rayquaza, which was crazy. The only thing with that, it was very easy to break it. The head always fell, fell off. But then there was another one, which was a ultra premium collection box, I think it was called, um, which also had this and two gold um, cards in as well. So that in a PSA 10, I love shiny Rayquaza. I think it's one of the coolest shinies. Um, and once again, that's actually a card you weren't able to pack from Hidden Fates. Up next, we have a very modern card, which is from Silver Tempest, is the Rayquaza VMAX uh, Trainer Gallery. I think this is a sick card just because it has Zinnia right there. And I think Rayquaza is just always a really popular Pokemon too. So very cheap to be fair. And like, it's just one of those ones where you never know. It could go up when Trainer Galleries become the, the new thing that everyone's after maybe in a couple of years. And like I said, Rayquaza is just really Really, really popular all right up next we have the alt art moltres or galarian moltres from chilling rain this is my favorite um alt art from chilling rain which actually is a bit of an undervalued and underrated set in my opinion because there are some incredible alt arts in that set but yeah we have the galarian bird that is moltres this artwork is just ridiculous it is so so cool so i'm keeping this in the collection hopefully when alt arts become a massive thing again i i just i just really believe in alt arts i feel like everyone is going to come back to them because they're just so so cool all right next card we have a tag team um, Zekrom and Pikachu or Pikachu and Zekrom. This is a Black Star promo, which is a really cool card. So you could only get this in a collection box. And they only did two boxes that had the gold version. Um, and it was a Charizard and Reshiram and the Pikachu and Zekrom. But once again, Pikachu, I just feel like you can't really go wrong. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's another one that you can't pack either. So when you compare like promos to maybe like um, actual set cards, I'm, I'm assuming there's a lot less than there would be if it was uh, in, in an actual set. So yeah, that's in a PSA 10 too. So very happy with that one. Next up, we have a Pikachu V Max. Um, this is also from Lost Origin, the trainer gallery um, of it as well. And I just love this card. Literally, this looks epic. The artwork on this is phenomenal. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I managed to get in a PSA 10 too. Kind of very similar to the Rayquaza. Um, trainer galleries are really, really beautiful cards. So maybe in the future, people are going to come back to these. And Pikachu again, very popular Pokemon. The artwork is ridiculous. You got red right there as well. It's the Chonkachu, you know, so really, really cool card. Also, I forgot to mention before we get into more cards, I have an unseen collection that I've never showed before. And if you want to see me do a video on that, guys, all you have to do is hit that like button. If we hit a thousand likes in this video, 
I will show you guys my collection that no one has ever seen before. But let's get back into it. Okay, up next we have the gold Pokeball from the Celebrations UPC. Um, I just think this is a really unique card too. So this one speaks for itself. It's a 25th anniversary card. You could only get it in the UPC. It's got the big stamp right there of the 25th anniversary. And it's just a very, very unique card. So, and then to go alongside it, we have the gold Pikachu V also from the UPC. You got these two together as well as the metal cards, um, which I've yet to grade, which I'm going to grade of a Pikachu and uh, Charizard. Up next, another very modern card. We have the gold Arceus V star from Crown Zenith. The artwork on this is is just phenomenal so uh, i really like arceus to be fair it's a really cool pokemon and this is just a gold card that looks ridiculously cool so the last set of sword and shield again it's a secret rare it's gold it's a popular pokemon in arceus once again i will say these are just from my collection this is just my opinion on what i'm deciding to uh, keep in my possession you don't have to copy me this is literally just what I'm doing. I wouldn't say copy me. I'd say collect what you love. You will see that a lot of these Pokemon in my collections are actually some of my favorite Pokemon as well. So it does help that um, they're my favorite. Right, we have Mewtwo GX Shiny from Hidden Fates again. Like I said, loved Hidden Fates. Mewtwo is my third favorite Pokemon, just behind Mew and Charizard being my number one. Once again, one of my favorite Pokemon. And once again, one of the best sets from uh, modern times. But up next, we have the Cynthia's Ambition from V-Star Universe. We all know the uh, the waifu full art trainers go crazy, uh, especially in the Japanese version. So I um, thought I'd hold on to this one just to see what happens. You've got a very popular full art trainer and uh, it's an awesome looking card too. Okay, next card. We have another tag team. This time it is the Black Star promo in Venusaur and Celebi. Literally, find you someone who looks at Celebi the way Venusaur's looking at Celebi right now. We got this in the PSA 10. Uh, this came in a tin, actually. Um, and I just think this is a beautiful card. This is really, really nice. Thank you, Omnix, for subscribing. Um, I don't know where that came from. But yeah, I just think this is a really sick card right there in the PSA 10 too, so very happy with that one. Up next, we have the Celebrations Shiny Mew. This might be one of my favorite Mew cards, top five for sure. Um, and this was from the 25th anniversary. Second favorite Pokemon, it's Shiny and it's got the 25th anniversary stamp too, and it's gold. So there are so many big hitters and big factors as why this is such an epic card for me personally. So this one is definitely staying in the collection for sure. Okay, up next we have Dragonite V Full Art Alt Art um, from Evolving Skies. Now you guys know Evolving Skies is one of the hardest sets to pull alt arts in, especially of recent times. I feel like when it first came out, it was a little bit easier, but now I've opened so many packs and I've still yet to pull any more alt art so um the dragonite or the sleeping dragonite is just an epic card it's just so so cool and i'm just gonna see hopefully that this goes up in price because this was a very popular one when it first came out a lot of people wanted to pack this card alongside the moonbrion and the rayquaza too so i would definitely say it's like top five top three um alt arts in evolving skies and evolving skies in my opinion is probably top one if not top two best sets from the sword and shield era all right before we move on to the next pile we have a japanese card and it is oh the 10th movie anniversary promo of Mew and this is just a beautiful beautiful card like I said it's from the 10th movie so it has a bit of significance to it but once again Mew's my second favorite Pokemon I just think it's a beautiful card um, and also very happy to get it in a PSA 10. All right, we're moving on to the next pile. And then straight after that, guys, I'm going to be showing you some of these cards right here, which are incredible. Probably have not seen them before. And uh, they are very, very valuable. And then once again, we have the big card right here in this case, which I'm going to show you at the very end. Next pile, we have the Sylveon VMAX Alt Art in a PSA 10 from Evolving Skies. Absolutely love this card. The colors are absolutely popping. And it's just a really, really nice card. And once again, Evolving Skies, super hard to pull these alt arts. Um, and very, very happy to do so. So with that and get it in a PSA 10. We then also have the Umbreon V from Evolving Skies. This is a crazy card. Very, very cool card. And happy to get this in a PSA 10. I actually got two in a PSA 10. I've sold one since, um, but I thought I'd keep one in the collection for a little bit longer to see what happens with that. Then we have the Pikachu Special Trainer Character Rare from Cosmic Eclipse in the Sun and Moon era, which is an insane card. My favorite card out of the character rares in Cosmic Eclipse. This literally brings me back to the moment of playing Pokemon Yellow and you get Pikachu in Professor's, uh, from Professor Oak, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's just super, super sick looking. And I love that card. Love pulling that card. Every time I do, it just gives me that nostalgic feel. Up next, we have another big Pikachu card in a PSA 10. It is the Chonkachu, the rainbow rare Chonkachu from Vivid Voltage. This card was a myth for me. I've opened so much Vivid Voltage, but luckily was able to get it finally in a PSA 10. And uh, this is probably one of the more iconic cards from the Sword and Shield era. A lot of people were talking about this card when it first came out. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens with that card. Up next, we have an epic PSA 
10 in the Lugia V Alt Art. This is the biggest hitter in the Silver Tempest set, which came out near the end of the Sword and Shield era. But look at this card. Look at the detail on it. Absolutely phenomenal. Genuinely an awesome card. Big, big legendary Pokemon, Pokemon as well. Definitely one of the better ones. So a very, very cool card. All right, here we have a Salamence card from the Secret Wonder set in the Diamond and Pearl era. So this card came out in 2007. Now, the reason I have this in my collection is because it is super low pop. Now, if you don't know what low pop means, it means that there is a very low amount of these in a PSA 10. And the cool thing about this, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera, is that this whole card has hollow bleed. Like there is a hollow on the whole bit of the card, but I don't think it's going to show it that well on camera because it's in a case in the sleeve. But yeah, there is only 17 in the world of these in a PSA 10. I packed this myself and uh, yeah, like I said, it got a PSA 10. So there are only 17 in the world of a Salamence Hollow from Secret Wonders, which is an insane set. It is so, so good. One of my favorite sets for sure. Up next, we have my favorite AR cards. So this is from the set Platinum Arceus, um, and there is a subset in that set called um, the ARs, and this is AR7. This is the first ever AR I pulled, and uh, I also managed to get it in a PSA 10, which is amazing. Look how incredible this card is. You have the hollow bleed on this as well, but then again, just the hollow pattern on this card is beautiful and also it's worth noting that this is also pop 21 so there are only 21 in the world in a psa 10 so once again very lucky i've graded so many of these and got so many nines but i finally have one in a psa 10. so up next we have a ho -Oh from call of legends hollow this is a beautiful beautiful card and from another incredible set of call of legends there are the sl cards in that set which are incredible but um this is just a beautiful beautiful hollow of ho -Oh. and this is also really low pop with pop 20 so there are only 20 in the world that have graded a psa 10 so i'm lucky to have one of them out of the 20 um and just such an insane card we then have a septile ex and i actually pulled this with none other than the one and only pokey rev when i was at his house um and it managed to come back a psa 10 so really happy with this one this one's more for like memories but also i have a feeling it's really low pop as well let me check okay so i just checked and it's not as low as the previous cards but there is only 61 in the world of these in a PSA 10. So still pretty low pop. Okay, moving on to, oh wow, yeah, I forgot I had this card. This Pikachu is so sick. This is a Black Star promo from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. You actually got this in a triple blister um, and managed to get this in a PSA 10, which I, again, I think this is really low pop. Let me check. So yeah, this is really low pop again. This is a pop 26. So there's only 26 in the world in a PSA 10. So I actually have quite a few cards that are really low pop, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, it's always really nice having cards that are very, very low pop and speaking of low pop we have another low pop card in the level x rayquaza from supreme victors this card is incredible look at the artwork on it man i love level x cards and um this is a really really cool one i graded this myself and it got a psa 10 and this is pop 43 so there's only 43 in the world of these in a pop, uh, psa 10 and i believe there's been sales of these i think like i haven't checked recently but i know there was a sale of this in three for three thousand dollars which is wild so this is a really cool card pop 43 um i'm very happy to have in the collection because it's rayquaza okay another modern card right now we have the mewtwo v star from Crown Zenith. Now this has, once again, I told you, Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, Mew and then Mewtwo, and this card has two of my favorite Pokemon in it, and I managed to get in the PSA 10. This is a, such a sick card. In my opinion, my favorite card from Crown Zenith. And we have some more Mewtwo cards. We have, or more cards that have my favorite Pokemon in. We have the Tag Team Full Art from Sun and Moon U Unified Minds. This is the Mewtwo and Mew GX um, Full Art Tag Team. Uh, in a PSA 10. We then have the Rainbow Rare also in a PSA 10. I think you guys can see that I really like this card. And then we have the Black Star promo as well, which is my favorite out of all the three. Look at the artwork on this. This is so cool. You got Joyful Mew and Mewtwo who looks very annoyed by Mew, but this is also in a PSA 10. So very, very happy with that. And then we have a Shining Mewtwo in a PSA 10. This is one of my favorite Shinings out of there. Honestly, look at the artwork on this. This is such an epic card i actually picked this up last year which uh, actually the start of this year in february so really happy to add this to my collection this is probably one of my most recent uh, additions so um i purchased this card and i just love this card so i'm hoping it just continues to go up in value because it is such an epic card as it is a shining from neo destiny but um i purchased this more just for the 
for my personal collection because I love Mewtwo and it's one of my favorite shinings. Okay, up next, I'm gonna be showing you some very, very, very valuable cards. But before we do that, I want to reveal to you guys what the giveaway slab is. So here it is. Okay, guys, this is the slab I'm gonna be giving away in today's video. It is a PSA 10 Radiant Alakazam from Silver Tempest. It's shiny too, and look at the hollow on that. So guys, like I said, all you have to do to enter this is hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and comment down below your favorite card in today's video. And remember, if we hit a thousand likes, I'm showing you my never before seen collection. But now it is time to show you some very, very unique cards that you may not have seen, you may have, or you may not have seen. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen them. And if you aren't, why aren't you following me on Instagram? Link's in the description, at Pokedean underscore on Instagram. Go drop me a follow. But we have the complete stamp line of the 2022 Champions Festival cards. We have the top 32 card right here. We have the top 16. These actually got PSA 9s. Uh, but the thing with these, it doesn't really matter because they are so low pop. We have the quarter finalists in the PSA 9 as well. We actually managed to get the semi finalists in the PSA 10, which is really cool. But I just love the stamp on these. They look so cool. And it's obviously from uh, London as well. We got the finalists too as well, which looks crazy in uh, a PSA 9. And then we have to finish it off the champion card right here so this was given to the champion i believe there are only six and these were given to the champion of the worlds of 2022 all the champions so shout out to those guys i'm just really happy to have this it's very very cool obviously london worlds was my first ever worlds and the fact that it was in london for the very first time in the uk makes it even more special because that's where i'm from but all together guys with this stamp line i would definitely say that these are worth probably at the moment around twenty five thousand dollars. these are pretty hard to get like i said they're very very low pop they were Especially to get the whole stamp line. The champion got given every single one of these. But up next, we have the very, very special card inside this very special case and my most valuable card in the collection. And I will say this, in my opinion, I cannot put a price on it because it is that special and that rare. But let me show you what it is. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's open up the black case. And inside is... Oh, enter the number one trainer here it is guys from london worlds 2022 in a psa 10 the only one from the that year in a psa 10 uh, and this is my pride and joy at the moment honestly i love this card so so much um and it is just so beautiful look at it like look at it um so fun fact there's only three number ones in the whole world throughout all of the years um that got a psa 10 and this is the last artwork of this artwork. In 2023 in Japan, if you check out my latest video um, at Japan Worlds, you'll actually see that Pokemon have now changed the artwork of the number one, number two, number three, and number four. So this was the last one of this artwork, and it was the only one in um, London and outside of the US for this artwork too. So very, very special card. And like I said, I can't put a price on this. It is super, super expensive. I think sales before have gone in the range of over six figures, which is crazy. Um, and for me at the moment, I can't put a price on this because it is just such an incredible card that I love so, so much. So yeah, that is going to wrap up this video, guys. These are the cards I've been investing in in the Pokemon market currently. If you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.